In this video, we're taking a look at the brand new Canon Vixia HF G50. This is a 4K camcorder from Canon that just dropped. We're going to be looking at the features and talking about some of the pros and cons coming up. This video is brought to you by TubeInfluence.com, a one-hour online masterclass on how to grow a highly influential and profitable YouTube channel this year. On this free training, you'll learn the proven strategies and current best practices for growing your subscribers and creating passive income with YouTube. To register for free, just go to TubeInfluence.com. Hey, what's up? Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And we're here at CES in Las Vegas, looking for the best tools for creators this year. And I'm super excited to be checking out the brand new Canon Vixia HFG50. Now, this is a camcorder. And on our channel here, we talk a lot about DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. So why exactly would you want to pick up a camera like this? Well, let's go through some of the specs. So first of all, the big feature in this new camcorder is this is the first time that Canon has put 4K video in a body like this. So now you can do 4K at 30 frames a second, 1080p at 60 frames a second. They also have five axis image stabilization in here. And there's some benefits of this being a camcorder. Now, when you look at a DSLR and a mirrorless camera, those give you lens changeability. They also give you the depth of field. In a camcorder like this, the intent is a little bit different. You're gonna want long form content. So when we cover workshops, when we have conferences, and maybe we're gonna talk for over 30 minutes, which is a big drawback of a lot of DSLR and mirrorless cameras. They have a 30 minute time limit and you have to restart the recording. Well, this is gonna be nice for teaching seminars, teaching classes, doing things like that. Plus, you have everything all in one. With the selfie screen, without having to ever change your lenses, you could use it for a lot of versatile applications. YouTube videos, teaching content, workshops. If you are a trainer, a coach, an entrepreneur, and you teach in front of a whiteboard, one of the nice things about not having crazy depth of field is it'll stay locked on your face. It'll keep you in focus the whole time and be a great viewing experience for the audience. Now, as far as some of the features go, you've got dual SD card slots. You've also got a headphone jack and a mic input. So again, a lot of the features you normally want on a DSLR or mirrorless camera are packed directly into a camcorder just like this at a price point that's reasonable, especially with getting 4K video ability all in the package. Now, if you're thinking about investing in a new camera this year and you're torn between a camcorder versus a DSLR or mirrorless camera, I actually have a dedicated video where I really go deep into the pros and cons of each of those. So I'll link that up in the description below as well as put on the YouTube card. But as far as my final thoughts, I'm actually very excited about this and I wanna pick up one because it, it's different than what we normally use for shooting YouTube videos. When we sit down and shoot content that is even like this, it's gonna be five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. But when we do workshops, when we do live trainings, and we're gonna go longer, or this would also be really great for live streaming. Of course, you have all the inputs to hook it up and be able to go live um, for 30 minutes, an hour, do Q&A for two hours. And so I think the ability to go create long form content, the fact is, both have a purpose. DSLRs and mirrorless cameras have a purpose, storytelling, photography, and all of that. Camcorders are definitely more for long form content. And so I'd love to hear from you. Are you planning on upgrading your camera this year? And what camera are you thinking about picking up? Let me know in the comments section below.